name is Ralph Sinisi. I'm 25 years old from Clifton, New Jersey. I don't, I don't really know much, much to say about Clifton. Just a regular town. Regular people. I've been riding for quite some time. I like to ride anything, it doesn't really matter. Mostly street. You usually move from spot to spot and search for new spots. See a lot of interesting things sometimes in your travels. A lot of stuff to check out on the way. Learn new appreciation for different kinds of architecture. I like riding different cities, especially New York City. Things are always changing. There's always new construction going on here and there. And new construction all over means, means there's different stuff to ride all the time. You always gotta re-explore and check things out. You know, sometimes it, does seem, sometimes it seems like there's nothing new to ride and sometimes you don't care. Sometimes you just, uh, just ride, a, you know, ride a curb, ride whatever, it doesn't really matter. I don't train to, you know, to ride my bike, and I'm probably actually not, not too healthy at all, you know, really. I don't, I don't consider myself to be a healthy person. My shoulder comes out pretty easily. Sometimes it's not bad. Sometimes it, you know, it takes a couple of days and you're all right to go back on riding. I don't know. I don't practice in anything. You know, I just uh, I do whatever's around to do. I think that something that you love the most, you have to hate the most because that's what that's what will get you the maddest is the thing that you, you know you care the most about. I hate crashing. I'm getting sick of crashing. I've been crashing too much lately. I'm always getting hurt. I'm getting sick of the uh, weather conditions. Winters are getting harder to deal with. I need a drink. I'm getting a bit parched. Stop laughing. To start an animal, I wanted to start something that was a bike company more based on bike riding and less on the you know bike industry. Try to spread some some new ideas, you know, maybe in, in bike riding. I don't know. There's there's a there's a lot of you know a lot of good riders out there that, that people don't really see or hear about. I decided to put most of them onto animal. Um, Bike riding to me has never been something that's, you know, something good to do, you know, it's always been like a escape, it's, a, it's a getting away from things that you, uh, that you have to do. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You don't get scholarships for bike riding or people never come out and cheer for you while you're, you know, scratching up their property or it's not any kind of a sport. It's, it's definitely weird people talk about it like that. A lot of different places try putting spikes on rails and stuff to try to get you to stop riding over there and you know sometimes you just gotta you know you could just cut them off or sometimes just go right over them if you can or you know make the best of any situation that you have. History of sponsors huh? Base Brooklyn started giving me clothes then um, Steve Crandall gave me a frame. FBM was my second sponsor. I ride for um, Intense Energy, a uh, skateboard and bicycle shop.
favorite thing, the most important thing to me, uh, except, you know, my family comes first, I guess, and then, then bike riding. I don't know, I guess because it's important, you know, it gets, it gets me really pissed off. My bike's been feeling like the biggest piece of shit all the time lately. It's always messed up. Sometimes I just want to, I want to take it and smash it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Get the rock out of the road. <laughs> gets me pretty pissed off. I'm not gonna stop riding, you know, no matter what. I don't think I could ever stop because then it would be like having nothing, you know, almost, you know, it would be such a big thing that would be, I couldn't see life without it.